mask mandate in Boulder County has businesses trying to figure out the new rules. County health officials passed that mandate Thursday night, which went into effect right before the holiday weekend. Denver 7's Patrick Perez explains how it's going so far. A familiar sign is back on storefronts in Boulder County. No one wants a pandemic, but we've got a pandemic and we all need to pitch in together to take care of this. The county's health department is requiring masks indoors again for anyone above the age of two, even if they're vaccinated. It's thanks to a high transmission rate of the Delta variant. I, I don't really want a mask mandate, but I don't want there to be a pandemic either. The mandate went into effect on Friday at 5 p.m., forcing business owners to move quickly. We do wish that they had notified the business owners a little sooner or maybe done a little more communication earlier on, especially going into the holiday weekend. Kristen Stahl works at Two Soul Sisters on Pearl Street in Boulder. She says its employees, all of whom are vaccinated, wore masks even before the mandate. But now they have to ask customers to put one on too. It does put a little bit of a burden on us, definitely, because it's hard when there's not as much like clear signage or there haven't been as many public announcements. Their interactions have been positive so far this Labor Day weekend, and Kristen hopes they stay that way. I think if people approach this as a way to keep the community alive, that's a good way to think about it. But there is an exception to the mandate for some businesses like Condition Fitness. It requires that you walk in with vaccination proof instead of one of these. As of Friday, Boulder County Public Health began allowing the fitness studio to operate as a fully vaccinated facility. That means everyone including clients must be vaccinated. The perk, they don't have to wear masks. Because people don't want to wear a mask working out. It's extremely hard and we have really rigorous classes. And so my decision had to be in that day and I found out there was an exception you could apply for. The vaccination proof requirement is similar to one she put in place at the beginning of August. For her, it was between this or possibly losing clients. There will be some more bumps in the road, I'm sure. So I'm just bracing myself for what those could be. And after a roller coaster of a year and a half, these business owners will do whatever it takes to remain open and successful. That's all we want to do is just keep things open and going. In Boulder, Patrick Perez, Denver 7.